also want contractors. There are some contractors that have 20 jobs and they have two uh, equipment on site. It can no longer be the same. We have minimum requirement of equipment on site for a particular work. And if you don't have it, you will leave the site. Nobody can hold this country to ransom. Nobody. Our local contractors are advised to wake up. Elements within that are also fighting me, you know, who are also benefiting from the system. And that is the greatest problem we have. And they are just pretending. And uh, I will flush those elements out and send them to ICPC to handle them because nobody can hold this country to ransom. So I'm giving them the last chance to conform to what we help Mr. President to reset the country. So this is uh, the distance. And then we are also leveraging on the, the contracts we signed. It's 14 days we are going to give notice. I've had more than 10 different meetings with contractors where we discuss this. We develop the design. We even develop the cost of doing concrete from the first principle. How much is cement? And the cement factories, the Dangote, the Boer, they have agreed to give special discount to our contractors who are going to engage on concrete road pavement. And many contractors are already doing it. Not all the contractors are in this gang up. Many contractors have come to sign addendum doing the road pavement. Those who are meeting are going to be losers. And before them, they will see that we, we do the job and we will do it very well. So, and you are not going to import adulterated beauty men. Why is it that when you bring beauty men here, you are putting modifier, enhancer, this and that? The question is, in overseas, do they put all these things? So why would you allow adulterated beauty men, and then you come here, you say you are putting modifier, you know? And we are witnesses that in the 50s, the road constructed on asphalt in the 50s, were much more durable than what we witness today. So this, are, this is all that we are saying. We are not saying people should not, you know, construct roads on asphalt. But if Nigerians are saying they should not have value for their money, that roads should be continue to be constructed every year, the same road, then it's very unfortunate. And that is what my ministry is fighting, and we are ready and very courageous to defend this. A land that is gang up, by contractors, but there is no going back. And Mr. President is backing this position.